Astro Renaissance is a Roblox game where you farm for moonstones to buy accessories to then dress up with. It has multiple realms and receives constant updates, one of which we'll be playing today. Did I mention we're in space? So this update I believe is the Everlasting Flowers update and it's provided a update to Celestia as well which is a planet that has a quest on it to get stuff. There is a shop update as well, there is a couple more accessories that have been added like the Sacred Bloom headdress, I believe the Delicate Primrose dress as well which is really really pretty and it's super cheap, it's only 5,000. It's very easy to farm in this game, all you have to do is travel to the arcade and once you're here you can play a lot of different arcade games now there is blue poppers find the difference and astro jump and i in my personal opinion think astro jump is the best way to farm it gives the most profit but there is laser tag at the back you can go in there on a server there's two different teams and you fight each other that is also another way to earn money in this game if you want to break up like the monotony of farming on the arcade games if you're doing a lot a lot of farming like you're going for really expensive item then I recommend like breaking it up a little bit by doing both of those over here there is the uh, luminescence machine which gives out Valks randomly I believe there's only ever like one story in here and because it's a new season there is a new Valk in the system so it's got this really beautiful background see I didn't win it that time but you can go to this machine I think every 30 minutes now the currency you'll get from doing all of the farming in the arcade is tickets don't make the mistake I made and use them on the wheel it is not a complete one-for-one -one trade like you'll get less you'll get less moonstones in the end if you use the wheel what you need to do to convert is actually come around to the front desk here the exchange tickets we press E and in this side you put the amount of tickets you want to trade into moonstones it is usually double so if you have a thousand tickets you'll get 2,000 moonstones so say you farmed 10,000 tickets you'll get 20,000 moonstones back so it's actually really easy to farm in this game and items aren't that expensive either it is only 5,000 moonstones for the dress that got added in this update which means I only have to farm 2,500 tickets okay I'm gonna get into the update stuff now and that is Celestia so this is a complete rework of what Celestia used to look like. I have some clips here to show you of when I completed the quest originally. Oh! <laughs> it's just a minion behind there apparently. I have to say it's a little difficult to spot these things because of the pink lighting and then the hearts are also pink. So yeah, as you can see, this is very different. Our spaceship looks like a very different kind of spaceship. Celestia has really cool lore. It used to be a planet of love and then it got taken over by some kind of darkness. We come here to save it basically. In your own time if you want to play this game you can read through all of this lore. I just don't have the time to show it all to you in this video but it is very good and I love games that include lore and world building. I think it adds so much dimension. So Moonlight has given us an artifact. Oh, oh, where are we going to? Oh, what well, cutscene. Chapter 1. A forgotten feeling. Moonlight wand place. Okay, so it does look like we place this here. Oh, there's like a magical noise going on right now. Ooh! Oh, that's so cool. This is like the original version of this realm where we have to find five hearts around the map. So here's one. Okay, so they look different to how they looked before. They've got a glow effect, so it's a little easier to spot. That's cool effect with the light coming through there. Did I grab this one? Was this the one I just... Oh, no, there's just one here that I just walked past. Oh, I just like fell through the floor. Hello? Yes, there's a side little bit over here. Here is another one. So we have two more to find. Oh, that's cheeky. There's one under the water here. Okay, I guess that's where my last one's gonna be because I cannot see any others. I can hear someone singing. I wish I could play you the noise. I found the last one. It's on top of the waterfall in front of the lake and I didn't spot it because it blends into the cherry blossoms here. Like, how were you even meant to see that? Luckily, these locations are all the same for everyone, I think. You should be able to use this as a, some kind of guide. It's not a tutorial, really, but maybe it'll help. I don't know. It's, it's glowing this thing so this is where we're supposed to head i suppose oh the fountain's back on oh we really are restoring the realm aren't we whoa the, sh the screen is shaking this is so cool a really long
long time ago, an unknown creature with magic powers was... I, I can't read that fast, girl. I can't read that fast. So you need to slow it down. Unlock the entrance with your divinity flute. Okay, we enchanted it. Now we unlock the door. This is like Wind Waker. Hello. Oh no, my character. Oh wait, I need to press keys. This is like a mini game. Okay, it worked that time. <laughs> oh, where am I? Okay, there's somebody we need to talk to over here. So this is probably the village or something. We need to find the five friends scattered throughout the village and let your heart guide you with your flute. This looks like something. Whoa, okay, this is definitely one. Oh, we have to play the flute every time to restore this? I see. <laughs> this is so cool. I think it would be way cooler if there was music playing during this because I can't hear any flute. Oh, there's a sword and a stone here. Ah, there's one up here. Okay, let's get this one. Came back to the center now, so let's restore this one that I f didn't do the first time. Is this some kind of amphitheater? Whoa. Are these statues or have people been turned to stone? Oh, this like goes way back. There is one over here though. Four out of five, one more to go. Have I been to this one? Is this one I don't have? I don't have this one. Yeah, I found it. Okay, that's all five. Now what do I do? Find the entrance to Celestia's heart. Where is that? Maybe it's that big glowing archway up there. Could just be me though. Climb the cliff? No. This looks like something. What is this? Celestia's heart entrance. I don't know what that big building is for though. Restore the love blooming heart. I'm here to stop your antics once and for all. What you're doing to this planet is cruel and immoral. You think you can't stop me? Don't try to- Oh, this is the person who has like corrupted it. Are you gonna attack girl? Cause it's pretty easy. Oh, there we go. Oh, she's got- oh yeah, she's brought the lasers back. I remember these. They were lethal in the last version. Enter. It's a whole boss battle! It's just not working. You see, I'm hitting them, right? Uh, I guess the bar was glitched out. I think that was just an enough animation! <laughs> what on earth? Okay, she's doing some flip- oh! Oh, okay, this isn't like the most difficult thing in the world. Oh, they come out of the same place, so I don't have to like run around. Be gone! Be gone! Oh, oh, we got some cutscenes. Oh, she's crying. Is this what we came here to restore? Probably. I think the butterfly is transforming from the flute or something. It's gonna restore the heart. Oh, no, a person is a, a person. There's a person. You saved me. And uh, most importantly, you saved the heart of Celestia. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I really am. For fleeing. But thank you for restoring peace to my planet. Yay. We saved the day. Oh, this is so cool. Chapter one. Completed. Are they going to add more? Zero melodies. Oh, so then we get like items if we trade in the stuff? I'm so confused. There's a cyber stellar race taking part in Celestia. Where you can earn melodies and bless the heart of Celestia and earn some gods. Would you like to teleport you to the entrance? Yes, let's go. So there's some kind of mini game. Okay, drag straw sign up. Is this going to be like a sort of kind of dress to impress runway thing? This is a runway mini game that you unlock by doing the quest, which is insane. The downside of this, I guess, is that you can only dress up with the items you own. It's going to limit you a lot. It's not like dress to impress where you just get access to everything. No, you have to own stuff and dress up to the theme. It concerns me a little bit that this is an update for this seasonal event, which makes me think that it's, it's temporary and not here permanently, which would be a real shame because this would be a really cool like permanent feature of the game oh sign up oh and then they have to pay moonstones to sign up renaissance i i don't know let's just use the new set and use this as time to show off the new set and the sleeves that is that okay where are the there's the new arms oh it's this one there we go i picked this flower crown up from the citadel in the park so that's just permanently in my inventory now which is really cool okay and that is the entire new set that you get for completing the celestia quest oh that's moonlight <laughs> the theme is renaissance so they just picked moonlight here is me then i didn't get a chance to change my hair to one that i liked oh that looks so pretty <laughs> so ethereal hey third so you get notes i got 400 from that so taking a look back at my footage i can actually see we get the notes and we get moonstones so this is actually a really viable farming method you want to be getting into the top three because for third place you get 2000 moonstones second is 3000 and first is a 4000 moonstones like that's actually crazy how much you get from that obviously you're not going to be getting the 
save about each time so I don't know how many people can be in a server. Though a typical round of this mini game lasts about like five minutes so 500 gems per five minutes is just like not worth it so you really want to be aiming to win because 2000 for five minutes is pretty pretty good to be fair though i still think in my personal opinion the astro jump is probably better if you're farming little amounts because this isn't a guaranteed 4000 moonstones every time it's just another option and choice here to add to your farming routine well anyway i don't know where it shows me how many notes i have but i have some and then i can use those to purchase the butterflies once i have enough anyway thank you for watching i highly recommend you to play astro renaissance get through the quest and then you'll have access to this pageant dress up drag game there are a lot of really cool things to enjoy about this game i highly recommend it and they are definitely putting in the effort to rework stuff and make the game great so i highly recommend it come play astro renaissance so much fun so much lore so much love put into making it hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in the next one if you like this video i will play this game again see you next time